Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are live swatching the SC Unguilty Pleasures collection. It is now available almost everywhere and we will talk about some pricing, places you can get it a little bit later in the video. As for now, if you enjoy live swatches, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And we are going to go ahead and start the video. I am wearing my, I believe, base coat from KB Shimmer. It's my go-to. It usually makes my nails look really good. And our first polish is Unguilty Pleasures, the namesake of the collection. So I am going to go ahead and read the descriptions like right off of the site for you. This one is a rich teal green vegan nail polish with blue undertones. So I like the fact that they said vegan nail polish and on the site it is retailing for $10 even. So I think we've already established how much I love teals, but even more than that, I loved that these were all one coaters on me. Now, if your nails are longer or you do thinner coats, you may want to do two coats with a top coat or three. It all depends on your length and your specific needs. But for me, short nails, one coat was it. Next is from me to me. This one is a softened deep indigo blue with white undertones and I feel like the white undertones are not that hard to see when you see how almost bright it is for an indigo but I digress I enjoy this one because I have been really enjoying blue polishes period and I like when they are easy to clean up around my cuticles because they're not overly pigmented and not so dark that now my cuticles are stained permanently forever. So that was a plus. And again, one coat formula. I also enjoy the brush, which I heard before I started collecting Essie's that was not always the case. Our next polish is Caught in the Rain, and this one is a muted neutral sage green with gray undertones. I don't feel like this one could have been any more perfect if I had designed it myself, and I also was really excited about it because I have been really feeling sagey green polishes, but I don't see that many in my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure that there are sage green polishes being dropped everywhere. I just happen to miss them. So, this was the one I was actually most excited about and the reason why I bought the whole collection, which I did grab from Amazon. I will have my storefront there. If you cannot wait a few days for shipping, you just want Amazon Prime, get it to me right now. <laughs> and our next one is No To Do. This one is described as a deep coffee brown with red undertones which might explain why this one I felt came off really flattering on me because I had a thing for I think it was Zoya's Foster for the exact same reason so I do want to say that it does dry a little bit darker just a pinch darker than it is wet. So I had no problem with that. I actually enjoyed it and I thought that it looked really good on me. I like brown polishes so I think that was pretty much a given. Next up is Home by 8 and this one is described as a soft black with red undertones. So that might explain why I was initially confused as to what exact shade this was supposed to be because I was like, it's really, really dark, but it's also not a true black nail polish. So what am I doing with this one? How am I supposed to feel? And I eventually 
slated it as a charcoal gray that's where it is with my collection but the description says it's a soft black with red undertones so that might explain why it didn't completely wash out my complexion and make me look like I was sick so I think again warm undertones red undertones win it for me and here is a side by side of the first five polishes of the collection while i'm doing the side by side we'll go for prices so i did pay ten dollars a piece from amazon however it's available almost everywhere now so you can grab it from beyond polish which i will have my link down below for them as well it would be forty one dollars and eighty five cents for the whole six piece collection that's before taxes and shipping and it's currently on sale if you went with the regular price on beyond polish it would be forty six dollars and fifty cents or seven dollars and seventy five cents each and i will go ahead and copy this and put it down in the description box so that you all can choose the best way to snag these if you're enjoying the swatches and you want to add some more creams to your collection because as much as i love my indies i also love my creams and normally i use creams underneath to go ahead and extend the life and the bottle size of my indies so that's my secret but we are here with the last polish and this beauty is snooze in okay this one surprised me it's described as a warm pinky coral and it has yellow undertones so i had no idea how to place this one um on one hand depending on your lighting it kind of looked peachy and then there were some times where it looked like a peachy with a camel in it so i kind of feel that yellow undertone it makes sense to me and i am getting around to loving this one i prefer for my peaches and corals to have a little more pink in them so the yellow undertones kind of threw me off but it is growing on me and as for a really cozy collection for winter i think etsy did a great job with this color palette because it was something for everyone if you like vampies you've got home by eight if you just like warm browns there's no to do um snooze in if you're completely unconventional and then if you like your blues and your grays you've got caught in the rain from me to me and then on guilty pleasures is that gorgeous bright teal so if you are part of my nail fam i am sending out virtual hugs thank you for sitting through and hanging out with me today i appreciate everything you do and i can't wait to hear what you're thinking about this collection also, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hanging out. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other.